Welcome to the first tutorial of C Sharp Edge creating a, a C Sharp class. Initially we need to do a new project and make it Windows form application and just call it a CSE 01 for C Sharp Edge 01. And then when the form design view comes on, let's make this a little larger. <coughs> we want to go over to project, add class. And class is selected by default, so leave that. And call this uh, I can get rid of the CS, it'll know that. First class. And press add. And then we come up with a initial class. And one of the tricks of the trade is if you want to create a constructor for it, you can just type CTOR and then hit tab twice and that'll give you a default constructor and we want to change this slightly because we want to pass it a string so do string name and then have a uh, private string called underscore name and say underscore name equals name so whenever you create a class it'll call this constructor and you'll pass it a name I need a semicolon and it'll assign a private variable to that name so the class will always know its name so to speak and then we want to make a public method returns void and call it a disp name and I don't need any parameters for that Another shortcut, as you can say, M box, and then hit tab twice. It's even shorter because I didn't even have to uh, type in the whole M box, just an M. And say the name given this class is and then have a plus for the string concatenation symbol and do a underscore name and once we've done this maybe we ought to save this before we go much further hit the save all and then go down and we'll just give it the same name we initially gave the form of CSC01 hit save and now we just want to add a button and call the button uh, btn disp class name and give it a text of display class name and the 
fonts are too small for me. Probably my eyes are going. So I usually make this about a 14 in the font uh, dialog box. And then of course the button's too small, so I'll need to stretch this out a bit. And double click on that to create the uh, event handler for this button. And we want to have a uh, first uh, class, call it FC, equal to new first class, and give it the name uh, Doug. And then just say FC. this name and save this and compile and run it and our form comes up and then press display class name and sure enough it has the name given to this class was Doug. Well I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.